Yo, what's up guys, it's Lewis, uh, eBay UK reseller, part time, uh, and this is a, a haul, charity shop haul I got from today, uh, a couple of things are on and listed, a couple of things need listing and stuff, so I'm just going to show you what I got, so first off, I've got some Harry Potter books, uh, one's hardback and I'm not too sure but I believe one's a first edition, let's have a look. Yeah, so that says first edition. I've got those, I think they were like one fifty for two and one was a pound, so it's about three pounds. I might have paid up a little bit on these, but uh, I don't know what to do, whether I should wait, sell this on its own. If you've got any tips, let me know. So that's those. Uh, this was a bit of a fail. I picked up a, I think it's like a 90s or an 80s Family Fortunes game. Uh, it was like buy one, get one free, and I got this one free, but... Uh, it wasn't complete, unfortunately. But I suppose you win some and you lose some. But... So yeah, uh, I've had a look there going for about eight pound complete, but I'm not sure. Uh, this was a great pickup. It's called Hip Hop Abs. Keep a lookout for this. I paid up on this. I paid like one forty nine or two pounds, but it's literally like never used. It's like a workout DVD. All this is all new inside. Nutrition guides and stuff. Free discs. Um, I stumbled upon this, I seen it the other day um, in a charity shop and they wanted £2 for it but I, I didn't think anything, I went home, I researched it and they're going for like £20, between like £15-£20 and I only paid like £2 and it fits straight into a bubble mailer, so that was a pretty good pick up. Uh, a couple of Jacqueline Wilson books, uh, this one's got a bit of tape on but I'm not sure what to do with these, these were 30p each. Um, I don't know if I just keep those and bundle them all up. But I've just been watching everybody else's uh, haul videos and they seem to pick those up. Um, I got two PS2 games for 99p each. Sims and Sims 2. Uh, the only thing is, um, I don't actually have a PS2 to test them. And they're a bit scratched on the back, so I don't know whether to sell these actually. It's a bit of a, bit of a dud really. They're quite scratched if you look. Let's get, let's get some light. Uh, you can't really s there you go. They are pretty scratched, so I'm not sure if they work, whether I should sell them as untested. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, Trivial Pursuit cards, uh, question cards. This would like £2. It's great condition. Uh, my camera won't focus. Yeah, it's pretty much new. Uh, I don't know what they go for. I think they're like £5, so a bit of a... A uh, bit of a loss, I guess. Uh, I got two downfalls. This one was a pound. All complete. I believe these are going for like eight pound. These versions. I also picked this one not knowing. And I think this doesn't go for quite as much. Um, but yeah, that, that cost me a pound as well. And they're going for about seven or eight pound on eBay. So it's just a quick flip. I got a Battleships. This was also, I think this was one forty nine. Uh, it's a little bit ripped on the box, but the rest of it is great. These are going for like ten pounds. Um, it's fully complete. It's like a nineteen ninety nine version. Uh, I like get picking up board games just for the fact that easy to post. Um, I found this mug. Uh, thanks to Ben Fitzpatrick, he uh, he always seems to pick up mugs, and it, this is exactly what he said. Like, look for something that's a little bit odd and. A little bit different. This is quite a big Homer Simpson mug, great condition. This was like 49p in the charity shop. Um, and then finally, I've got a friend's seen it. I've already sold one of these. Uh, this cost me 199 and it's great condition. Like it looks like it's never been used inside. Um, I sold one of these for 15 15 pound a couple of week ago, about a week ago. So I picked that up again just to see how that sells. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I've got plenty more videos to come. And yeah, happy reselling.